five crazy fitness myths. Hello and welcome to Redline Fitness. My name is Thaddeus. Thanks for watching our video today. We'd like to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell below so you can get an alert anytime we post a video just like this. You can also follow us on your choice of social media at Redline Fitness X. So today's topic is five crazy fitness myths that we hear in the gym. So when we start our fitness journey, we go to the gym, we really don't know what we're doing. We're trying to figure things out. We're trying to learn as much as we can. And we come across people who give us advice. And sometimes that advice isn't so good. In fact, a lot of that advice is what we call bro advice. Somebody told it to somebody else and we think it makes sense, so we just do it. And then we find out as we learn more that these are just myths and we really shouldn't be using these to decide what we're going to do in our fitness journey. Now, I came up with these five myths, but I did this by asking around at my gym, at uh, getting some people on social media to give some feedback, and these are the five myths that we came up with, five crazy myths uh, to, to debunk today. The number one myth, and if you have been lifting for a while, you will know what number one is gonna be. The number one myth is that there is an anabolic window. When I was first at the gym, some guy came up to me and goes, man, I gotta get my protein right after I lift or I just don't feel right. Later on, I had another guy tell me, man, you gotta make sure you get your protein in at least uh, you know, within 30 minutes after you lift. And so I did because they told me to. And then as I did more and more research, I realized the body's pretty intelligent. It really doesn't matter when you put protein in your body, as long as over a 24 hour period, you're getting enough protein in your body. Now I did another video that goes over how much protein you should be taking and getting into the details of that. I'm not gonna get into all that on this video. Other than to say, the anabolic window is a scientifically debunked myth. Do not buy into this. If people think that you, it's not like you're gonna lift weights for an hour and then all of a sudden you have no gains because oh my goodness, you took, a, uh, you know, you drink your protein shake an hour after lifting, or you drink it an hour before lifting. Woo! It's a myth. Don't worry about the anabolic window. Number two, myth number two, you can't eat after seven o'clock. And really, you can just throw in whatever number you want. And this is one I heard very early on when I was in the gym. Guy would go, man, I stopped eating after seven, and I've lost a lot of weight. Well, of course he did. Because you know what was happening before seven o'clock? He was thinking about what he was putting in his body. He's being very conscious about what he was putting in his body. He was trying to be healthy and he lost weight. Calories in versus calories out is all that matters. I eat my dinner every night after eight o'clock, sometimes after nine o'clock, rarely after 10, but sometimes after 10 o'clock. The body does not magically start, you know, gaining weight after seven o'clock. Those, those calories don't count differently. One calorie is one calorie, whether it's five in the morning, five in the afternoon, it is a myth that you have to stop eating at a certain time in order for your body to lose weight. Myth number three, and this one came from our local gym from some of the teenage boys that like to work out, is that lifting as a youth stunts your growth. And I did some research on this one before I cut this video because that's a myth that I've heard a lot, even before I started getting into the lifting community. And there's a little bit of gray area on where that myth came from. But the bottom line is, it is a myth. Now, if you are lifting weights and you're younger, chances are pretty good you're not going to get the results that you will get once your body starts to change, once your testosterone levels start to kick up if you're a boy, and once you start getting a, the opportunity to put on a little more muscle mass if you're a girl. So lifting as a youth, it's really about form. I will tell you, my kids, they lift. They come to the gym once or twice a week and they lift. And it's all about them practicing good form. They, they have no desire to get big and strong because they know they're not going to. When they get older, that's gonna happen. But right now, we are just teaching them, teaching them good form. It is absolutely fine if you are young to go ahead and start working out. You will not stunt your growth by lifting weights. And, and the more I'm even sitting here thinking about it, the sillier it sounds. But once again, people say stuff with such, they are so confident when they tell you this stuff, you're like, oh, okay, I, I'm, you must be right. It's just a myth. Myth number four, 
And this is a newer one, and that is fasted cardio will help you burn more calories than non-fasted cardio. This goes right back to calories in and calories out. It doesn't matter if you eat calories an hour before you go, go do cardio, an hour after, three hours before, three hours after. Whatever you burn, you burn. Whatever fuel you put in your body, you put in your body. It doesn't burn differently because you did fasted cardio. I get why people think doing fasted cardio is better. Because they go, well, I don't have any carbs in my body. Uh, that I, I didn't eat any carbs. So now when I run, it's just going to use all the fat that's stored up in my body. And it's going to help, you know, help me lose weight. And that's why I want to do fasted cardio. Well, you're eating carbs afterward or you're eating carbs at some other time. They don't just magically go away. Like, I'm, I'm, as I'm sitting here saying this myth, I, once again, I, I just... I just don't get the logic behind it. Once again, you get people that just say it with such such confidence, man. You know, they just really give you that, hey, man, fasting cardio, that's what you should start doing. Okay, you know, I'll do it. It's a myth. You do cardio when it works best for you. You eat on a, a protocol that's best for you. Myth number five, and it's kind of similar. Um, I'm going to start talking about calories in and calories out. But myth number five, and I'm not even going to name a certain diet. We'll just do a fill in the blank. You will have somebody come up to you in the gym and say, this is the diet you need to be doing. You need to be doing keto. You need to be doing paleo. You need to be doing, um, if it fits your macros, you need to be doing calorie counting. I will tell you personally, I do count calories because I don't do well uh, if I don't count calories. But I'm going to tell you a little story, story time here on Redline Fitness. My doctor, uh, who is no longer my doctor over this, told me that I needed to follow the paleo diet. I had never heard of it. So I go and look it up. And my wife and I read over the paleo diet and we're like, no, no, no way. There's just no way we're going to follow this protocol. Like it's, 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 it, it just looked, it, it didn't, uh, there was just no way it was going to happen. Like if we would have tried it, it would have lasted maybe, you know, two days and then it would just, it just been done. It was like, no way. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to start eating healthy. I'm going to start working out. You know, this was around the time here a couple years ago, right? I knew I was, you know, really obese and I was trying to get in better shape and that was my doctor's, you know, and I, and I have great respect for doctors and that was his suggestion was that I follow the paleo diet and I didn't follow his suggestion. I came up with something that worked for me. When I went back to my doctor, he complimented me on my weight loss and asked me what I was doing. And I told him that I was doing strength training and that I had started cutting calories and I was really watching, you know, my, my macros. And I'll never forget, he took his spectacles off in this big, you know, this big grandiose gesture and goes, why aren't you doing paleo? That was the last time I met with that doctor because it didn't matter to him that I was having success doing something he didn't want me to do. It just mattered that I wasn't following paleo. Guys, there's no special diet. I have family members who do keto and it works for them. Somewhat. I have friends who do if it fits your macros and it works for them. Me personally, I count my calories. I want to know how many calories I'm putting in my body and I want to know how many calories I need each and every day. I also count my protein. I want to make sure that I'm getting enough protein in my body to rebuild the muscles that I'm tearing down in the gym. I make sure that I keep my uh, ca carbohydrates and fat balanced. I don't want to, I don't want to get my, my nutrition out of balance. It's important to me. But my diet's not anything special either. My, you know, and, and I don't even like to call it a diet. It's an eating protocol. It's an eating plan. You should never, ever be on a diet. You should come up with an eating plan that you can do. I can do the eating plan that I'm doing today when I'm 90 years old. And that should be the way you're looking at your nutrition. If you can't, if you can't do it long term, then you're looking at it all wrong. You do not need to follow some special, like I said, just fill in the blank. You'll get that at the gym all the time. Hey, man, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Th this is what you need to do. No, you need to find what works for you to get you to the goals where you want to be. So there you have it, five crazy fitness myths. Hey everybody, I want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. We appreciate all the support that we get at Redline Fitness from everybody across our social media platforms and locally. We cannot do all that we do without your support. We really, really do thank you. As always, please follow us here on YouTube. Click the notification bell below so you can get an alert anytime we post a video and follow us on any form of social media that you would like at Redline Fitness X and never, ever forget to challenge yourself. <laughs>